This is the first prompt of audit report and here the executive summaries give you the whole nice interface very straightforward with the filter of dates AI source you can list down the AI source and let me give you an overview how that report will look like and there you go so advanced cloud and LTV and okay to so install Google Analytics 4 on your cloud or any AI bot out there which you want to use as MCP then I suggest you go to this URL here you will get all the documentation but we are going to do that step by step so first thing first is you need to install python 3.10 plus just search for python and there is a downloads option and you can simply download that just like you do with other software and after you install that you must have a google analytics and create a service account go to console cloud google.com you just need to go there and create a new project Click on this my first project button and there you need create a new project using new project. After you do that, just search for Google Analytics Data API. There you go. You only need this API. Click on enable. It will open its credentials interface and just click on the credentials. Then you need to create a service account. Click on create credential and there is an option of service account. Click on this. Give it a, any name for example i want to give it a cloud and there's a service account email address you have click on create and continue after that just click on continue continue and done that's it then click that service account you have created then go to the keys and click on add key create a new key and download this json file so you have everything inside the json file next you need to go to your google analytics account and after you do that, click on the admin here. After the admin, click on this property. And there is a property access management. Just click on that. Then you need to type that service account email here. Just click on plus icon, add users. And here you need to type that. And how to get that service, to get a service email, open any text editor or IDE you use. There is a client email like here. Just copy that and paste that here. And in the standard rules, just select this viewer option. Click on add here. After that, go to the property details. Here is your property ID. Copy that. So go to the cloud and there is a settings. Go to developer and there you ha have, just click on this edit config. It has this particular config here. Just open that in your text editor. And now you need to paste this particular code. I will put that into description box. It so that property id here you need to input a path where you have downloaded your json file from the google cloud console open your terminal there just run your command and it's done this is how you can easily create your mc server restart the cloud and you will be able to get the tools enabled in your cloud i'm using the cloud you can use any other bot for example cursor or any mcp enabled chatbot or ide to create such reports here okay and as you can see there is a ga4 enable all the tools these are the tools that bundle with the ga4 it can list dimensions metrics dimension by category and list goes on first thing we are going to do is we are going to audit our google analytics i will give this particular prompt for free you can get the free section in the description box and there you will get this one for free which is a ga4 audit prompt which is actually very straightforward it will be audit for every specs out there and then provide you the task which you need to do for your website and the checklist as well all you need to do is copy this and paste that here and press enter and it will start creating the report for you so i've already created that because it's a lot of credits let me give you an overview what i have built this is the audit report from the google Analytics of mine you will get the audit report just like this here you can see so this is the first prompt of audit report and here the executive summaries give you the whole nice interface that will tell you and the bottom line up front is give you the overview what they have found so then it will provide the top five positive trends, then the top five areas of improvements. And there is key metrics. You can also search for the seven days, 30 days. It depends on your data. And as you can see here, there's a user metrics with the nice graphs it has used. As you can see here, daily traffic and the list goes on. And give you all the metrics again. And there's a conversion metrics because I have not enabled any conversion tracking. So it gives the the conversion tracking of zero if you have enabled that then you will find that here the total conversion as well and there is the top countries by users and bounced in by device top 10 landing pages provides for the top 10 countries which i get traffic from there's a browser analysis and there is ga4 implementation audit checklist 
So it's actually a very detailed one. It tells you what you don't have on your analytics, what you need to improve in different categories. As you can see, uh, the data quality and filtering, I need to filter that internal traffic as well. There is integration. I need to integrate my Google Ads. If I have a Google Ads account, console integration not configured, Bitcoin export data not enabled, and this is something which I need to improve. So now the priorities, it will also give you the priority recommendation. And now moving forward to the next prompt, which you will get from the propsfluff.com. So this is the way you can support our work here. Next will be filtering out your AI traffic report. So you can get your AI traffic report from your Google Analytics account. I've already done the video if you want it inside the Google Analytics. But if you want a more detailed report, then I have this prompt for you. Just copy and paste it into a blog. You can get from promptfluff.com. So this is the report of the AI traffic here. Let me open that report which we have created. Yes, there you go. And now as you can see here, so it's also very straightforward with the filter of dates, AI source. You can list down the AI source, for example, perplexity, AI, chat, GPT, cloud, and list goes on. There's the country, also filter by the country, device type. And there's actually more data which page I'm getting more clicks from the AI sources. And the list will go on just like that. Third prompt, it's about map visualization report. So how this works, this works as a map where you will just pinpoint an area on the map and it will provide you the report here. Map is not visible, but if you do it on the locally, map will be. You can pinpoint anywhere. It will tell you the users, sessions, how much traffic you are getting from it. Okay. And for example here. This is from the Hyderabad, India. And there's also a regional analytics. Whenever you pinpoint that particular area, it will provide the report based on that area. So there's regional analytics and the top regions, as you can see, traffic sources, top external link by region, data, quality and compliance, and the list goes on. This is how you can easily do that with the help of this prompt and MCB. Last but not least is cohort analysis. So lifetime value analysis and a cohort analysis, this is done in with this particular prompt. It's actually very gigantic prompt, which will help you for all the cohort on analysis on your property. And let me give you an overview how that report will look like. And there you go. So advanced cohort and LTV analytics dashboard, lifetime value. And there, cohort analysis is there. And if I see on the right, it's a lifetime value price. And as you can see, the Bing Organic is on upper side, Google Organic on the lower side. There's a direct traffic, there's a retention analysis. So I've got equally retention by all the sources. So there's opportunity detection and a report that will provide you how to, that will provide you overview about the tracking setup, monitoring and analysis and optimization actions as well. So this is about getting all the information from the Google Analytics in the nicely format way. And not only that, you can chat with your Google Analytics property. Chat about anything, for example, what's trending from past day, Okay, so for example, how you can actually chat any new update based on my Google Analytics property. So just type that. It will provide a nice update from where users are coming from, which part of your page you need to optimize and any new engagement metrics. You can chat with your tools. Make sure you have enabled that using connectors. You need to enable that and it will get all nicely information as you can see. Chat with your Google Analytics account in one go. So previously we have done how to chat with your Google search console, now Google Analytics account. You will learn much more about that as well. So pro performance overview had this much from the past seven days and daily trends, peak days are July 8th and lowest days are this. So it will tell you a nicely formatted report, how much you're getting from the top country distribution. So I hope you like this. If you want to get all the products, do check that out. Pomfort.com, you will get that here. See you in the next video. Bye-bye.